joined by Carla from Weird to Rough Games, and this is Gift of Tulips, which is live on Kickstarter right now. Hi, Carla. How are you doing? Hi, I am doing pretty okay. All right, it's good to it's good to have you, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm I'm really excited about this game. Um, it's it's a gorgeous looking game, and uh, it's about the Tulip Festival in Amsterdam. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. That's really cool. Uh, it's currently on Kickstarter now. We've got seven days to go, so we're um, you're you're at the tail, not necessarily the tail end, but you're definitely in the last quarter, in the final stretch. And how are you feeling about the campaign so far? Um, I am so excited that it's done so well um, already. We have over a thousand backers. I think over twelve hundred actually. Um, so that is just super exciting. Awesome. Um, and we've hit like a number of stretch goals as well. That's really cool, um, and that, that that's really exciting. Now, um, we might know previous uh, Weird Giraffe games like uh, Big Easy Busking, uh, Dreams of Tomorrow, um, and this is sort of, so this is sort of, um, what does this fit in the canon of uh, Weird Giraffe games? How do you, how do you feel about this one? It, it, it's really exciting, and like, is it is it a different kind of design for you? Is it sort of something you've done before, or is it just like, what what is it that hooks you about this game? Um, it's definitely different than our other games. Like usually we um, do like more, well, we do small box games, but we usually do like a bit larger um, mm. of small box games. So like this is um, one of the smallest uh, games I've worked on. And it's also one of the simplest, um, but it's actually like really cool what the amount of depth that's in it for how simple it plays um, and how like it can vary just based on who's playing and cool. how they're playing. And, and it's uh, two to six players. Today we're going to be showing off the two-player version of the game. So it, it, it scales uh, pretty well. Does it play differently at the different player counts in a in any dramatic way? Um, yeah. So the two-player game is definitely the most tactical cool. of the all the player counts. And the six-player game is a, a little bit more chaotic um, because there's six players and they might team up, they might do whatever. It really depends on what the players want to do. Yep. Um, so yeah, and it just varies between all of those. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so you've unlocked some stretch goals already. Um, is there anything that we should be excited about coming? You've got the uh, tulip tracking tokens, you've got the linen card finish. There's larger player cubes coming. Um, and what's the box thumb cut out? Is that just a little hole that we can um, grasp all the contents from? Uh, yeah, so it makes just opening the box like super simple and easy. Like um, I'm sure like we've all had those game boxes where it feels like a punishment to try to like yeah. open it. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be super easy to not only learn and play, but also to open. Awesome. That's really cool. I like the aesthetic. Um, and the art is really gorgeous in this game too. Who, who was your artist for this? Um, so as far as illustrators, um, they were Emily Hancock and Katie Grierson. Mm. Yep. Um, and, and did they do the cover art as well? Uh, yeah, Emily Hancock did the cover art in the Tulips, and um, Katie Grierson did all of the, the blue Deltware patterns yep. um, throughout the cards. Yep. Oh, it's, it's really gorgeous looking, and um, I'm really excited to... Um, see it come to life and it and i also really uh, appreciate that it's got an all-female team behind it um so uh you've got some really um kick-ass people working on it oh definitely that's one of my favorite parts about running a publishing company yeah. is i get to choose everyone i work with yes. so everyone i work <laughs> with is super cool that's really like, good. i really enjoy all of them and i consider all of them friends oh that's awesome and that's like a prerequisite for you super cool tick Yes, yep. in fact. Um, like, some people, like, I don't know if they're, like, super, super cool mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. I start working with them, but I tend not to keep working with them unless they're amazing. That's completely fair. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'd love for you to uh, teach me the game and uh, run me through it. And we've got it here loaded on Tabletopia. Uh, so this is the two-player setup. We've got two-player boards, and we've got um, the shared scoring market. And... Um, I'm really excited about uh, this because there's a bit of like sort of market speculation or, or sort of like speculation on the pricing of how things are going to be in this. And I think that's mm -hmm. that's really interesting because um, uh, tulips were actually sort of the first um, thing to ever cause an economic bubble back in the 17th century. 
Um, so I, 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 Tulip Mania, I think they called it, um, which I thought mm. was pretty cool. So um, this is obviously set at a much nicer time afterwards uh, during the Amsterdam Tulip Festival. Um, so let's get into it. I'd, I'd love for you to uh, teach me how this game goes. Oh, and Panda has joined us in the stream. Thank you for joining us, Panda. It's lovely to have you here. Yeah. Oh, she's so much fun. Hi. Yes. Um, All right. I'd love oh, you to okay. uh, teach me so, this. Yes. Okay. So um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, on your turn, you're just going to um, draw a card, then play a card, draw a card, and then play a di- uh, pl- or play a card in a different action. Okay. Um, and you have three different actions that you can do. You can either um, add the card to your own bouquet, mm-hmm. which it might give you points if it it's uh, if that tulip is currently in third or fourth place. Um, you could instead give a card to another player. Um, if you give a card, you gain the value of that card plus um, an extra bonus depending on uh, what place it currently is in. So for instance, if I gave, oh, I picked up the entire deck. That's okay. It's fine. Um, so if I gave you this card mm-hmm. um, and it was in first place, I would get six points for doing that. Okay. Um, because it's like three plus the value. The second place is two plus the value. Second second is one plus and fourth is just the value. Yeah. If cool. a tulip is not currently in any place, it's considered to be in fourth place. Okay. So um, then the third um, action is to add it to the festival. So when you're adding cards to the festival, mm-hmm. um, you can do it in one of two ways. First, you can add it to the secret festival. Oh. Um, so in the secret festival, five cards are taken out at the end of the game yep. and placed into the festival. If there's more than five cards, then those cards just don't go anywhere. Um, but then that changes up the festival. And so no one is quite sure like what the final, like what the right. first place um, okay. tulip is going to be. Yep. And how this works is, um, so if I added this to the festival, um, it's equal to the pink three, but newer is better. So the purple tulip becomes second place and the pink tulip is now in third place. Okay, sure. So yeah. And that, that's based um, on the number values in the top right? Yes. Yep. So then um, at the end of the game, once the cards run out, mm-hmm. um, the player that has the most um, cards of the first place tulip will get 15 points. Okay. The player with the most of the second place um, tulips gets 10. Yep. Same with third is five and nothing for fourth place. Okay, yeah, sure. And this is based on the cards in your personal bouquet? Yes. Okay. So um, at different player counts, you get different amounts of points and yep. different like uh, majorities and such. Um, but yeah, in this two player, only the player with the most wins. Mm-hmm. Um, if we both have like, for instance, five cards, then you look at the value and okay. whoever has the higher value gets the points. Right, cool. So um, just to go back over it, you can get points for gifting tulips to other people, yep. for keeping certain tulips and for majorities at the end of the game. Okay. Okay, interesting. Very cool. All right, so and so the gifting value is this uh, third uh, point value. This the the little hand icon on the cards. Uh, it's the one on the left. So on the, the left. one with the. Oh yeah. 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 Cool. And the keeping is the one on the right. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. And so if it's in third or fourth place, you're actually going to get points for it. Yes. Okay. For keeping it. Cool. Interesting. All right. Um, I it, is that about it? I I I'm very curious to see how it plays out. Yep, that is it. All right. Um, it's super simple. Yep. Um, well, we start off, and you take two cards. Yep. Um, and one of them will. Uh, oh yeah. You oh, can go. sorry. <laughs> um, one of them will go and start your bouquet, and the other one will be put into the showcase. Okay. So, um, oh, and we start with these two cards in first and second place? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, um, I will keep this one. And the showcase, is that secret? Yes. So you have to put it um, upside down, probably around there. Yeah. Cool. 
Easy. Um, and how do I put it in my hand? Yeah, you just drag it to the bottom of your screen. And it'll glow a little oh. bit. Oh, right. There it okay. is. I've done this before. I That's just... fine. We are live, so oh, yeah. it's like... No, Sometimes that's totally fine. I forget how everything works when we're live. <laughs> it's all good. I um I was saying this on the podcast the other day. My when when I'm being interviewed about myself or things that I've done or my history, I just blank in the moment. Like I, I when when I'm being interviewed about myself, I like need to get up my my personal website just to be like, who am I? <laughs> so I totally <laughs> get it. Totally get it. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Being on camera is hard sometimes. Yeah. But um, let's do this. Um, let's do I this. can start if you're yeah, okay with that'd that. Be, that'd be awesome. Oh, I'll keep that reference and... card. Let's see. Yes. I'll drag that It's down actually here. only one side of it. Ah. Who knows where the other side went? Oh, no. Um, It's fine, though. Yeah. Um, okay. I am going, so I drew one card, and mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this card. Okay. Um, So... It's not down here at all, so it's considered in fourth place. So yep. I get to have two points for that. Okay. And then I get to draw a card and do something else. Mm. I cannot keep this one, so I'm going to add this one to the market. Oh. Now, why can't you keep it? Um, You can't do the same action twice. Okay, cool. Yep. So now blue ones are the first place. Hmm, interesting. Okay. And now you can choose what you want to do. So, let's see. Uh, add to my bouquet, give to a friend, and gain points. Place it in the showcase. Interesting. Um, and what what um, what numbers are on the cards? What What's the range of numbers on the cards? Uh, they range from two to four. Two to four. Okay, interesting. So, um, so could these ones in first and second place ever be dethroned? Yes. Yep. Uh, how how would that mm -hmm. happen? Um, so if you add any, like if you add a pink three, yep. Um, that then becomes six. Yep. Which is higher. Oh, I see. I see. I see. On board. Okay. So I draw. Yeah, one. you can have as many cards as you want in the market. Cool. Interesting. I am going to gift you something. I think I would love to present you this beautiful flower. Well, thank you. Yeah. And that is um, five points for me. Yep. And then... Uh, then I draw another card and take a different action. Got it. Yep. And I can either add to my bouquet or place it in the showcase. Okay. Oh, either the open or hidden showcases. Got it. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm going to add it here. Okay. So those so... two jump up. Oops. Sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. We're both, We're both just it. grabbing at it. <laughs> and then. So the orange ones are best. Oh, I see. That's how we're tracking it. Cool. Oh yeah, so this uh, tulip tracker, it isn't necessary, but I like it because then you don't have to like do math like once they that's, get to Yeah, that's totally fair. Cards. Once once a bunch of cards all come out. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to keep this one. Mm -hmm. So I get one point because it's pink. Okay. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I'll give you this one. Oh, thank you. Here you go. I get four points Amazing. for that. Oh. Oh, four points because it doesn't have a value. Got it. Yep. Or it would become fourth, I guess, because it doesn't exist in the tableau. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to... Hmm, interesting. I'm going to gift you this, I think. Here you go. Here's, um, here's this lovely blue flower. What, what is the name of the blue flower? Um, that one, I will look it up. I have <laughs> names of all of them, but this one is the one that is in like a different language. Oh, Dutch, sure, most sure. Most likely. So that's four points for me. 
in my second card. Oh, very nice. I will probably donate that here. Okay. Yep. Oh, because it was added um, last, it goes up. Is that right? Yep. Oh, cool. Yep. When they're equal value, the newer one is the better one. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely gifting this to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Here you yeah. Go. Wow. Sorry. Thank you. That's so I so get nice. seven whole points. Cool. I'll make this a little easier. I'm going to lock your board off for you. Now you can't mess with it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, and what am I doing with this one? I guess. Yeah, I'll keep this one. This is a good tulip for me. Oh, okay. Um, and I get one point. Interesting. Interesting. All right. What have we got? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool tulip. Um, I think I will. Oh, thank you, Panda. Panda's just going off for dinner, but you also, you have a fun night. Thank you for joining us. It's lovely to have you here. Okay, I'm going to donate this one to somewhere. Uh, that somewhere is... I think uh, you... it's going here. Yeah. So that's going to slide it right up, actually. Right there. Oh, all the way up, actually. All, oh, all the way up. You're right. There we go. That is. Now pink is the top. Wow, that has um, suddenly changed everything. And my I second mean, card. that's what you wanted. <laughs> um, I'm also going to donate this one here. Oh, you already put one. Oh, through. I did already do a donation. I will just hold on to that then. Which uh, gets me two points. Okay. Oh, and uh, I found the name of the blue one. It's yes. the Abba Corellia? Abba Corellia. Arcala. Yeah. Cool. I'll send it to you, um, and you can try to like say this name. Oh, no. Uh, it's, you know, it's worse with my you... Aussie accent, right? <laughs> and you could like see, like, or why I said it like in that weird way. Abba so. Corellia Ocalata Tulip. I mean, uh, I thought it was pretty, and that's why I chose it. Hey, that's great. Does you oh. Do you need any other reason than that? I mean, well, it was also, like, a different shape, so I tried to get tulips that were all, like, distinct. So, like, even if you're, like, colorblind, yep. you can all tell them apart. So, that was the other reason. Ah. Hello, Watashi. Welcome to the stream. Hold my donation. Should I not be donating? Oops. I went a bit, I went, a, got a bit eager there. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we'll see how this plays out for me, yeah? <laughs> well, so, um, I gave you a pink tulip. Thank you. And it's in first place, so I got seven points, and then I just kept this orange one. Okay, cool. Nice. So, all right, here we go. What have we got? Ooh, now that's interesting. I'm going to hold on to that one, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. So that's five points. Uh, if you're keeping it, it's zero points. Oh, keeping it's that's Sorry, I, that was gifting. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm going to keep you that one. You can gift it. I could gift it, but I don't <laughs> think I will. <laughs> that's understandable. Yeah, but I will gift you something else i'll gift you this so that's five points so i've just given you the pink tulip okay well thank you that's okay. appreciate it oh i'm gonna keep this one. Oh, very for cool for one point interesting and then Yeah, you deserve this. Here you go. Oh, thank you. That's so and nice. And so I get five points. Amazing. 
Okay. Now, these majorities are 15, 10, 5, and nothing. So they're not negligible. I should be worrying about them a little bit, right? Oh, probably. Okay. Or you could just get a bunch of points from gifting and leave the majorities uh, to me. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I mean, that does seem good. I will gift you this. And that is a smacking seven points. 23. Mm. And then the second card is that one. Um, now I have to do a different action. So, um, now I notice you're discarding cards as you go. Is that, um, or are you just making them more, oh. gra more grabbable? Oh, uh, I was doing the setup stuff that I forgot to do earlier. Oh, okay. Um, you discard a certain number of cards. Um, oh, so I was going to say it was a big deck, but now, okay, now, now, okay, wow. Now, now um, this game's going to be a lot shorter than I thought. So let's have a, let's have a look here. Mm, maybe I will hold on to that one. I'm going to keep that for myself. And that one is nothing for keeping. You're up. Okay. Hmm. I think I will keep this one mm -hmm. for two points. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, yeah. Definitely putting this one in the market. Oh, cool. And now it's at the top. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Who knew that that would happen? I don't know. <laughs> there. Interesting. Oh no. Hmm. It's okay. Maybe you can get four more. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What have we got? We've got that one. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Um, yep. I'm going to populate there. So now that oh. goes right to the top. Oh yeah. And what have we got here? Oh yeah, interesting. Uh, right. Yeah, I'll just hold on to this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Holding on to it is mm. one point. Now, sorry, oh, when I, I donated this um, three, I think I just donated. I should yeah. wait. I get two points. No, uh, you get no points no for points. messing with the market. That's right. Hmm. Hmm. I think. I will give you this one. Oh. Here. And Thank then you. I get four points. Okay. And that was my two. Oh. Oh, what happened to your second? Oh, uh, I kept the pink oh, one. Oh, you kept the pink one. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. There are 22 cards left in the deck. Okay. 11 turns. We yeah. can do this. I'm going to put that here. Oh. Bumps this all right up. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And then... Going to... Mm. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one, which makes it uh, two points for keeping it. I'm gonna hold on to this pink one. Ooh. And that's two points. Pink's we'll getting competitive. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I'm definitely putting this into the market. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. Cool. Yep. So just slightly Six, more. Six, ten. Oh, no. <laughs> Should okay. be eleven, I think. Uh oh, yeah, I'm bad. Oh no, it is no, ten. It, yeah, okay. It is ten. Cool. Okay. Yes. All good. I just got too excited. Oh, that's all right. You just want to inflate the value of blue, like crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's just the really large amount of three. Yeah. Um. Okay. What have we got here? So, oh, interesting. Hmm. I will. Hmm. I would like to gift you this lovely flower. Thank you. That is worth four points. And additionally. Oh, hmm. What do I do with you? Maybe as like a salvage mission. I'm going to hold on to this blue. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll give this one to you. You seem to like orange. I so. love orange. Thank you. That's one of the things I like about this game is like people just say thank you to each other all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I am putting this in the hidden showcase. Oh, secrets. If I remember reading the rules correctly, um, if there's more than five in the secret showcase, we shuffle and deal five. Is that right? Yep. Okay. That's exactly right. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, you've taken two turns, sorry? Yep. Yep. Okay. I gave you one and I hid one. That's right. Now, ooh, for the purposes of what's happening here, I will probably... I will also contribute to the secrets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I will, just for good measure, keep some blue on me. I mean, you can try to compete with blue. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm keeping this poor little purple one for okay. one point. And... Oh... I guess I am putting this into the showcase. You sound so disappointed. I, like, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I made a choice. <laughs> Didn't you so make this game? I did, and now <laughs> this one is first. Yep. It's fine. Yep. My plans will be fine after all. Okay, good. I mean, I'm doing pretty good on the purples right you're doing, now. So. You're doing well. You're well ahead of me. You've got a 12 point lead on me. Well, I have. Oh, yeah, for that. But, like, you have almost as many purples as I do. That's so true. Anything can happen. Anything still can five happen. Five turns left. Okay. What have we got? Oh, those. Hmm. Which makes it 8, 10, 12. Uh, yeah, well. Okay, I'm just going to. I'm going to hold on to this blue as well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You are getting so close on that blue that I Oh I, I have a second I have a second card to oh, right. deal with. Sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. You can have it. Okay. Nothing happened. Didn't say anything. Um I think I want to pop this down. Yep. Which puts it okay. at um nine yeah, ten. Now it's the high everything's at 10 everything's at 10 we just did this we decided that everything is equal <laughs> just cycling Who knows through what this joke... uh, oh and okay. that purple should be at uh, 10 as well just under <laughs> oh my goodness this is what we chose it's oh. what's happening <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep this blue one. Okay. Oh, and I get one whole point. It's gonna be fun. Mm. And then I do something else. Okay. And I don't like. I lose my card, I guess. Where did <laughs> I put it? Your cards down near my it? cards. Where is it? Wait, did it disappear? I think it disappeared. Oh I don't no! Know. I can see. Sometimes I hate my computer. Could you like click we'll anywhere it. else on the? No, it's not disappearing. That's okay. Um, let's add a card back into the deck, yeah? Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, and I'll this give it a shot. This is what you do in real life. Yeah, exactly. You just drop a card under the table. You just take another one. Um, what am I doing? I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. Ooh. I'm like going to be so excited for like real life gaming. Because yeah. Because like in real life... Like, I know how to use my hands. Oh, <laughs> you at least know what your hands are doing. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Was that um, two from... Oh, no, one more. Uh, yeah, I have... So I have one card in my hand, mm. and I'm just, like, struggling to figure out what I want to do with it. Okay. And what I want is to put it in the showcase. <gasps> the hidden Secrets. 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 You don't know what it is. Oh, There's five see. in there now. There are five. Interesting. Okay. So if you put on any more, then one won't come out. Oh, okay. What have we got here? That can go. Yeah. That's going in the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just going to make the secret the pile of trash. Exactly. <laughs> Um, and I think I will hold on to this. Okay. Yep. You make choices. This is my last turn. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to just drop the card there. <laughs> I am just, I have this card yep. and I guess I'll just give it to you. You deserve this one. Oh, thank you. Maybe orange is your favorite color ever. Maybe that's what I think. I don't know. Possibly. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's just like real life. I'm, I'm this clumsy in real life. <laughs> I'm sometimes this clumsy in real life. <laughs> Not like every day, but like some days. Yeah. Um, oh, there's so many things I can do with this. Oh, I can no. keep it or I can put it in the market. <laughs> I think I am going to be risk adverse and keep it. Mm. No points. Okay. 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 Now you get the last turn. I get the last turn. Um, it looks like there's, yeah, there should be two cards here, right? Uh, there are two. Do you see right. two? I do. I only see one. Mm. Isn't there one right here? Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Found it. It weird. just suddenly appeared. That was weird. Anyway, I saw what that is, so I'll take that one first. Um, and I will... Ooh, anything can happen. Anything can yeah. happen. Yeah. <laughs> They're all equal to 10 because oh, we goodness. chose to do that. Because that's who we are as people. Um... I th love chaos. Think you can have that. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's okay. It's so it's so lovely gifting and receiving thanks. I really like that you've set that up in this game. Oh, interesting. That's a final. What? Oh, what do I do with that? Maybe I dilute the secrets more. What? Why would you want that? I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're shuffled now. They're all so shuffled. So two, two of them are not coming out. Ba -ba -ba. Oh. Ooh. Blue. Uh-huh. Is in the lead right now. Okay. I'll just take this blue and put it over here. Yep. Okay. Now. Uh. Oh, pink is... Pink is better than blue. At pink this is better point. than blue. That's what they say. Um, oh no! So Come there. back, purple. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Third card. Yep. Is 
purple oh wow okay you really did dilute that i got some diversity uh -oh. in the um colors happening here this is um so oh yeah. my goodness i'll move this purple or this blue and so um that is oh my gosh math 9 12 13 yeah 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 that's right. Yeah, that's why the tuple tracker is good. It's you really good. Like, oh, I was like, oh, we won't need that. No, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Blue. Oh, Blue. no. Three more. So that means it that goes to it 15. At the top. Is... But there's one, <gasps> one card left. Oh, this one is the decider. Here we go. Orange. <laughs> what? Orange? That does nothing. I didn't put that in there. Yeah, I put that in there. Well, it makes it go above the... It does get you more points. That's true. I say. That's true. Okay. All right. So whoever has the most blue gets 15, and I believe that's me. I, believe, I, 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 oh. I do think that's you, yes. So then I get here 60. Nice. Um, Pink. Pink. Um, You. Oh, I have more pink too. <laughs> it's like I planned it. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, but you have more orange, so you get the five. Points. I do. So that's nice. That's that's quaint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so uh, what did you think? That's it. That's awesome. Wow. That's so. That's that. That was really fun. I um. I thought that was adorable, and I like the. Oh, I just switched back to Discord. Your camera must have been frozen this whole time. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh well, that's fine. I guess. That's as fine. long as people could hear me. Yeah, we can we can all hear you clearly. Um, no, I thought that was really cool, and it's um, it's quick, it's cute, it's easy to understand. But I like I like the two player tension. I thought it was really nice. Um, there's a there's a there's a thing in uh, games where they're either tactical or um, strategic, and I think um, this has a really tactical feel, where we're sort of facing off against. Each of us shifting the market, and we got it to ten at some point for everything. Um, whereas in like in a strategic in a, in a larger player count game, that market would shift way more before you have any more control over the state of it. So I think it's really cool in in the game we just played that um, we've got that ability to like really know what the other player is doing for the most part and kind of like have to square off explicitly against that. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, I'm so glad you liked it. Thank you so much for um, showing me that, Carla. That was that was awesome. Um, and so, seven days left on Kickstarter. Um, mm -hmm. You've done well so far. You're at, uh, let me just convert from, you're at uh, 28K out of 6K. So you're well beyond your goal. And the next stretch goal we are looking at is the larger player cubes. And that's coming in, uh, ooh, well, that's coming in like uh, another hundred and... Mm -hmm. Hundred on twenty dollars or something. So it's yeah, close. it's so exciting. Yeah, you've done really well. Um, chat, let me know what you thought of that game. I thought it was uh, really fun, and I I can't wait to get this onto the table in uh, real life. When are you expecting to deliver? Um. So, uh, I don't know. With COVID, it it's oh kind of gosh. up in the air. But uh, what I'm hoping was the fact that like almost all the files are done. I'm hoping in the next six months. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, to deliver. Um, but like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to make any estimates when, who knows when the next pandemic will hit. Shipping is a freight. mess right now. I mean, I'm fulfilling a Kickstarter myself and, um, shipping prices are like two to three times the normal expected, right? And there's this yeah. other weird thing where that just because, um, so because, because shipping slowed down because of the pandemic, um, there's like a giant backlog of of uh, regular post, so everyone started paying for express post. But now there's just a giant backlog of express post, and no one has time to actually get to the normal post. And so it's all just kind of cascaded, and everything's a mess right now. So I don't blame you if you just want to hold off on sending these out for a few months. Yeah, like uh, I was talking with uh, my freight company. Yeah, and I was like. Hey, be honest. Tell me what the situation is. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, it's kind of a hot mess." Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and just maybe wait till the end of April or yep. May, and maybe it'll be a little bit better. But you know. But like, also, who well, knows? Well, as you said, yeah. Like, um, well, especially with um all the conventions, because like, mm. so imagine that 
well in a normal year like a company might have like an origins release and a gen con release yep. and like all these releases at each major convention but with all the major conventions happening in one month now like are all the companies going to rush and try to get oh, no. a product for that one month yeah. that all the conventions are in? Like, do they want, like, two products maybe? Oh, no. So they can so, have, like, an so... Origins and a Gen yeah. Con and, a, and an Essen release? Oh, my gosh. Like, so, uh, I don't know. I think, like, if anything, like, a whole, like, convention thing will mean that, like, we'll, we'll be in this hot mess of a freighting situation yeah. for... I think Maybe it'll be interesting. Six more months? Well, because like the traditional release cycle is kind of thrown now. So it's like, I mean, do conventions matter? I mean, that's a whole other conversation, but do conventions matter for like releasing purposes? I know people have been steadily releasing games throughout the year and like people are still gaming, which is awesome. Like so many cool games came out in the past year, but it's, it's, it's kind of this weird thing of maybe people want to shift away from having those convention specific releases, but also who knows it really, it, it it's because like, will they actually happen? And if they do happen, will they be at the same scale that you care about? And it's just, I can imagine it's a giant headache for you right now. Yeah. Well, and like, since nobody knows, like everyone has to plan as if, I don't know, as if they know. Yeah. So I guess we'll just see how Gen Con goes and nobody will be able to really pivot because Origins is the next week. <laughs> yeah. And then what is it? And then uh, Geekway to the West is like the week after and then Essen's the week after? Yeah. Well, actually, so or it goes Origins ends and then there's Monday and then Geekway starts on Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's one day and then uh yeah essen is the next week i believe because i'm gonna try to go to essen for the first time ever oh amazing and i didn't really plan this out yep i was just like oh yeah i want to get out of the u.s because i haven't left my house in one year that's fair um, so just leave as far as you can yeah. yeah i mean essen sounds like a perfect thing but then like after going to three conventions and being able like then rushing to essen yeah and, We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, no. I, I I hope that doesn't, like, if you do end up going, I hope that doesn't, like, the lethargy and just the tiredness you're feeling doesn't, like, mar that first Essen experience. Mm -hmm. At least I'm not planning to have a booth there. Like, I always try That's to fair. go to a convention for the first time yeah. before having a booth, so yeah. I didn't try to do too much. Okay, good. Well, not way too much. Well, yeah. <laughs> you say that, and then yeah. you get there, and you're like, oh, no, there's there's so much I want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and I'm, like, staying in Europe, because, like, you can't just go to Europe. No. You have to, like, travel and stuff, so I want to see, like, Prague and uh -huh. Copenhagen and Amsterdam. I, like, those are the three that I, like are currently on the plan yeah well you, like, you've been to amsterdam before right that that sort of like yes. fueled this game's inspiration mm -hmm. yes i have been to amsterdam and i really like it which is why i think that's why we chose to fly into amsterdam yeah who knows yeah. it could have been cheap flights too oh yeah yeah well that that can also be a factor <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, well, it is yeah. crazy close to Essen. Yeah, that's so... true. Where, how close is it to um, Essen? It's it's like a two hour two hours, right? Yeah, I think it's only like a two hour train ride. It's yeah, very close. Oh, speaking of train rides, like the thing I want to do um, when and if I go to Essen next, and I know it's super expensive and it's super touristy, but I just for the novelty want to do the Orient Ex Express. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. I love trains and stuff, so yeah. I get that. Oh, 100%. Uh, trains are the best form of uh, transportation. I totally get it. <laughs> I just wish, like, the U.S. just doesn't have, like, many trains. You'd think that, you know, we'd have more trains, but it's Europe that just does trains so well. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, even you you go a bit north and you've got the, um, the Canadian, the transcontinental um, in Canada, that's a really cool uh, train experience. I haven't done it, but I've heard uh, my partner Phoebe has done it and uh, she loved it. Heard... I'll have to try that. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it sounds like such a good experience because um, you just hop in and out of different provinces. And because, because Canada's provinces are sort of um, not only culturally diverse, but also, you know, language diverse, um, they're just 
like the amount of different the amount of drastic difference between the different places as you travel through them is like stepping into another country each time kind of like europe oh that does sound amazing like i've only been to um toronto and yeah. welland oh yeah cool canada which welland is a very small place that i went for work reasons um, yeah but it is amazing oh that's awesome yeah oh man we're just getting wanderlust now because we've been stuck inside for, for a year yeah i mean i really i have not like like my my regular like exciting trip of the week is mm. to go um do grocery pickup yeah. where i drive to the grocery store and then they put the groceries in my car and then i come home <laughs> you're like That's give me right. this this is my this is my one thing that i get every week yeah yeah yeah, I get to see humans yep. through the window of my car. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How That's... exciting. <laughs> I guess. I just, I cannot wait. Like, I, yep. I'm getting my vaccine on Monday. Nice. And then, like, I'm making a calendar thing. And yep. then after that, I'm just going to, like, see friends or yep. something. Or, yep. I don't something. know. I'm doing all the things. Are you going to know how to interact in real life once you get back into it? no like i was awkward before so oh like i'm goodness. an awkward human yeah but like i'm gonna be like oh like where do i put my arms do i hug everyone yeah do I just yeah. stay six feet away from you like yeah. what what is appropriate yeah. probably something between zero and six feet but like yeah i don't know what it's gonna be so weird i mean look, like we're very lucky here in australia that we've actually we're sort of at a normal ish Right, Sage, like uh, we don't even need masks anymore um, unless you're in a supermarket or a, a larger convenience store. Um, mm -hmm. And like it's when I first like caught up with people, um, it was just really weird. I'm like, what do I do now when when silence kicks in? You're just like, I can't put someone on mute. I can't just look at another screen. I have to like <laughs> fill the void. <laughs> Uh, yeah so um yeah like so my last like actual human interaction was at gamma yeah where i was at like an actual convention not gamma but, like, online had... that just happened right no no it was like one year ago gamma in person yeah. like everyone was freaking out yeah. so like my last human interactions were when we were like oh there's covid so we have to kick each other yeah. instead of like shaking hands oh that's right you know, I it's so awkward. I remember seeing videos from that Gamma where, like, there was a motivational speaker uh, letting, yeah. letting people blow up balloons and then releasing them in the air over an entire conference of people eating. And also COVID was happening. And I was like, what is that? What are you doing? Uh, there was, like, so many weird moments there. And I was just happy that, like, I heard the start of that speaker and then yep. like i left because yep. i was like you know what i can be doing anything else uh -huh. um and then i didn't get covid so hey that's a, pos I feel like that's that was a positive a good choice yeah 100 percent. Um, but yeah like it was it was just so weird just constantly using like hand sanitizer all the time and mm -hmm. like being like no we have to hit our elbows together or hit our feet together yeah like, do is, like the do like the ankle doing. ankle touch <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and like I don't know. Will I try to do that again? Like with people that don't understand what I'm doing and they just think yeah. I'm going to kick them? Or... It's it's going to be really interesting what culture is like after this. Because um, so I know that, for example, you know how like if you look back at 1920s fashion, it's really extravagant, really like flowy dresses and like everyone's suited up and like all, all dapper. And the reason that actually happened, it was it was it was on the back of the uh, 1917 um, flu. And, um, so people had like, not people had like not interacted with humans for the longest time. And then when they went back to it, when they pivoted back to it, they were like, oh, it's party time. We got to go wild. <laughs> we have to show off our humanity. Um, one actually interesting side effect that on the other side that happened though, was in the art world. Um, that's about when you started to see the, see the shift towards abstract art and abstract work, because previously it had been like portraits and really focused on human features. But then you had this period of, of people being like, 
grossed out and by the human body because you know disease and and um and death and sort of really all the icky things that come with being a human so you actually saw this shift in the art world as well so i'm just i'm so curious as to what culture is going to be like when this is all over Oh, yeah, that's really fascinating, especially about the art. Like, yeah. will we start doing board games that are all abstract? Or will yeah. we have, like, tons of party games? Oh, yeah. Or, like, abstract party games. Like, oh, my gosh. That would be crazy. That would be awesome. I think, like, I guess, like, the closest you've got now is modern art, which is, like, all these, like, weird abstract pictures. But it's kind of a party game because of the bidding and stuff. It's not really, like, a party mm -hmm. party game. But, like, it's got a lot of that um, interaction I think is really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Carla, thank you so much for joining me. This has been an absolute pleasure. Um, yeah. It's been really great to chat and play, play with you. And I'm really excited for the uh, campaign and to see how it goes. Yeah, thanks so much for playing. And I of hope uh, everyone watching has a great day. Yeah, and uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, I've been Mark from Tabletopia and this has been Carla from Weird Giraffe. Gift of Tulips is on Kickstarter now. It's on your screen. I'm going to pop a link in the chat. If everyone wants to go back that um, or at least check it out for themselves, you can either play it on Tabletopia if you want to get a feel for it of, for yourself or um, maybe just uh, grab a copy physically and... Uh, You'll be able to see what it's like. Thank you for joining me, Carla, and thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day.